Hello, everybody. I'm going to be working on the, um, I guess, a, uh, a valve cover uh, for, this is, this belongs to a 96 uh, Nissan Sentra. And basically the issue that this um, vehicle is having is that oil is getting into the spark plug tubes. Unfortunately, as probably you figured out on your own vehicle, is that the, uh, uh, I guess, gasket is not replaceable or you can't get that thing out of there. Um, I did some research and I discovered that basically this um, this part was never meant to have the gasket replaced on it. What you're supposed to be doing is taking this whole cover and replacing that. And from what I read, it's like 150 bucks to do. But what you can do is buy the uh, replacement gaskets and I guess kind of um, work them into the uh, the cover. It does take a little bit of uh, work to get into it or to get that thing in there. But what you're going to have to do is, this is one that I haven't uh, done yet. You're going to need to basically cut along the outside of the original one. Um, I chose to use a Dremel. I've read that people can do this with like a, an X-Acto knife and just score into it. And then basically uh, you'll use a screwdriver to pry out all the leftovers. And I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. Uh, I have my Dremel. This is basically the biggest drill bit you can pop inside there. This is just a standard drill bit, nothing fancy. Um, okay, well here it goes. Uh, basically, I'm only going to cut as much as like the drill bit will let me cut. Uh, you'll notice from time to time that you'll see it smoke up. And basically when you see it smoking up is when it's cutting into the gasket material. That's a good indication of how deep to be cutting. So, here we go. It's, it's fairly quick to do. So, you can see it smoke up there a little bit. That's about as deep as you want it. That's pretty much as much as you uh, need to take off there. Let me grab a screwdriver real quick. For this next part, you're gonna need a screwdriver and a hammer. Now, the first part you need to do is pry out this extra material and it'll snap clean according to the score marks that you've made. And I'm guessing when those guys were using like a, uh, a, uh, uh, exacto knife or, uh, you know, a knife, of, a blade of some sort, um, they were just cutting deeply enough or this thing would, uh, pop off. I tried it a little bit with like some cuts and, and I didn't like the results. And I just figured I have a Dremel and I can do a better job with it. So. Uh, comes out pretty clean. That's all the uh, material that pretty much you'll take off. The other part, I was doing this on a bench outside, but I'm just, I get better lighting inside the garage. You will feel it hook on to here. Pretty much anything that will catch on is what you're going to be knocking off. So don't worry about uh, knocking off something you're not supposed to. Just get a good bite in there and with your hammer. Knock off that old gas material. And it's funny how rock hard this stuff is. 
Because on the replacement one, it's, you know, just as soft as the gasket should be. And uh, that's about it. And you can see there if you want to get in close. There's no more of that gasket material in there. So the final step that you need to do is I use the sanding wheel like out of my Dremel set. I'm sure you can do it with a regular piece of sandpaper, uh, something a little on the coarse side to get a good bite of the plastic. But I went in there with the uh, the sanding wheel and um, I, uh, I expanded this because this, this is a replacement gasket. It is uh, slightly bigger than the hole that you will make here. So here's the one that's expanded and basically it fits. I made it fit pretty snugly in here because I don't want this thing coming out for any reason. You should, you're gonna be resealing your uh, your main valve uh, valve cover gasket anyways, and you'll be, you should be using RTV for that. So I'm gonna be using uh, the RTV I already have to put this uh, gasket material back into place. Um, in the this thing, I bought at O'Reilly's. It was a lower profile than the one that already came with my uh, with my original kit. This is a one that I bought on Amazon, and if I can show you real quick the difference in what I got from Amazon. See how thick that is? I'm guessing, and I saw online that this one, or I guess the one that you buy with uh, your, uh, your uh, valve cover gasket, uh, some people were taking it to machine shops and having the machine shop cut it out, uh, you know, to cut this deeper so they could fit in flush. Um, yeah, the one at O'Reilly's, uh, I bought this thing, uh, four of them for 20 bucks. Uh, it's not too bad, and I guess it's, you know, sparing me from having to go out, you know, during working hours and get this thing done, be able to do this at home. Uh, and it fits flush, you know, looks good. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Uh, it was a pain in the neck for me to figure out. Uh, do not attempt to remove this plastic sheet because it is, you know, if you do, you'll more than likely crack it and, um, this has like baffling inside here, I guess, for oil, you know, to be pumped through it. Uh, if you're already in here replacing this gasket, uh, you might as well replace the one that's for this rectangular one. If you see a black thing on here, that's your gasket. And it's if it's anything like the one that was on mine, it was so hard that it chipped away when I took it off. Um, that's all the advice I can give you. Um, I'll link you to the original post that... Um, I, I read on how to do this so you can, you know, read it for yourself. But that's it. Good luck. Thank you.